Good morning, I'm Heather Moss and I'm one of the family ministry leaders here at Cop Prairie Community Church in Lenexa, Kansas. Thank you so much for joining me on our third week of our series called Unusual. I wanna start by asking you a question. Can you think of a time when something really, really surprised you? You know, sometimes surprises can be a good thing and sometimes they're not such a good thing. Good or bad, life has a way of throwing unexpected things at us. Today we're gonna to learn some about something unexpected that happened to King David. So what do you think? Is this gonna be a good surprise or a bad surprise? Well, before we check it out, let's have a quick dance party. the other day so it's got this spatula on it and it's pretty handy if you're you know out somewhere where you need to be specially I think you could even use it if you need to dig a quick hole it's pretty cool right oh what hey check this out so I've also got this like fork thing on there so that'd be cool if you needed you know to make some s'mores or poke your sister no probably, probably should do that and then there's even this other thing on there this last little bit this this is really unexpected I'm not sure you could you needed to dust something off or wipe something down. This is a pretty unexpected tool and it's kind of like how David was super excited to have the Ark of the Covenant back with him in his city. But he had no idea of the wonderful plans that God had in store for him. If we follow and trust God, who knows what unexpected blessings he might have in store for us. Hey, sorry I'm late. I just had to, uh, what's this? I don't know. Huh. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Where in the world did this come from? I'm not sure. It was here when I got here. Unusual. It's not even my birthday. Dear Carl, you're doing a great job doing Grow TV. I think you're pretty fantastic. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Should I see what's inside? Why not? All right. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is the most glorious thing I've ever seen. That's pretty cool, Carl. Hey, you need tape, Andy? Don't worry. I'll just grab it off my new golden dog tape dispenser. <laughs> It's incredible. Best gift ever. Anything else in the bag? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I mean, it's just 
$500 in cash, but <laughs> this tape dispenser, it's golden and it's a puppy. That's totally you. Yeah, I love it. But you know what? What? It makes me wonder, who gave this to me? Yeah, I'm not sure, but you want to jump into today's story? <laughs> totally. Can't wait. Where's it at? 2 Samuel chapter 7. Are we still talking about King David? We are. King David has a very busy and eventful life. That's what I'm starting to realize. How lucky are we that we get to read all about it? Very. Now, do you remember what we talked about last week? Well, if I remember correctly, we were talking about how David and the Israelites brought the Ark of the Covenant back to the people. That's right, and there was a lot of celebration. Of course. Having the Ark there meant that God's presence was always with them. Absolutely. Now, having the Ark of the Covenant back meant David was thinking of it a lot, and he came up with a really good idea. Chocolate fountain! What? Sorry, whenever I come up with a great idea, I just think of a chocolate fountain. Maybe some strawberries. Mm, marshmallows. Using those little tiny kebab sticks to stick them in the chocolate. Oh, <laughs> sorry, continue. The great idea that David had was to build a temple. A temple? That's it? What makes that so special? Well, this temple wouldn't just be any temple. This temple would be built specifically for the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, wow. That makes total sense. I mean, the Ark is really special. It probably deserves its own space. Yep, that's exactly what David thought, and God agreed. Really? God thought it was a good idea, too? Yeah, God didn't need a fancy temple, really, but it would be a great place for people to come together and worship. Wow. So they built a beautiful building so all of God's people can come and worship. <sighs> what a perfect ending to a perfect story. Uh... What? It's actually not the end of the story, Carl. What are you talking about? They got the ark, they built the temple, and a chocolate river is flowing down the middle. No chocolate fountain. Okay, well, I realized the temple wasn't perfect, but I mean, bam! Happy forever! Well, God had a different plan. Wait, you said God okayed the building of the temple. I did, and God did, but it wasn't going to be David who built the temple. God said that it would be David's son. Are you serious? Absolutely. God knew that one day David's son Solomon would also become king, and he would build the temple at the right time. I mean, I guess that's kind of neat, but I bet David was a little bummed. Maybe, but he was thankful that God would give such an amazing honor to someone in his family. Even though he wouldn't get to be a part of it, it showed David that God would always be working through his family and taking care of everyone, even after his time as king was over. Wow, I didn't think about it like that. I guess God always keeps us on our toes. Yep, you got that right. God does unexpected things. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's our big idea! Our big idea today is God does unexpected things. So let's say it loud on the count of three. One, two, two three. God, God does, does unexpected, unexpected things. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Woo, woo, God woo. does. Yeah, God does. All right, all this talk of chocolate fountains has really got me hungry, Carl. It would be pretty cool, right? Cool? <laughs> More like fantastic. <laughs> you got that right. Wait a minute. Fantastic? You just said fantastic. That was a word written in the note. Andy, did you give me this gift? You got me. Why didn't you tell me? I just wanted to surprise you. Well, thank you. That was very unexpected. Well, you know what else was unexpected? What? This right here. Ah! <laughs> I was like, come on. See you next week, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Thanks, Carl. So who remembers what the Ark of the Covenant was? That's right, it's a very special gold box that we talked about last week and it has God's power all around it. Now, do you remember how happy King David was about getting the Ark of the Covenant in his city? That's right, he was dancing in his underwear. He was so happy. After he was done partying and dancing, he actually stopped and thought to himself, hmm, I live in this fancy schmancy castle with all this stuff around me and the Ark of the Covenant, the most special box in the whole world, lives in a tent. I should do something about that. He decided, I'm the king. I'm going to build this house for God. I'm going to build a house for the Ark of the Covenant. And he was prepared to get started right away. He started making his project list and he was ready to go. But before he could get started, God sent a messenger named Nathan to tell him, there's a little bit of a change of plans. You see, it wasn't part of God's plan to have David build this building, this special house. God was going to use David's son instead. Not only did God promise to see David's son through the whole project, but he also promised to make David's family the leaders of Israel forever, all the way through David's children's children's children. That was really unexpected. 
Hey, Sparky, how are you? Good, good, good. What are you doing over here? Just hanging out, you know, waiting for you or any friends to come along. Hey, take a look at my little trophy I got here, my little weightlifting thing. What? Out. You got a trophy? That's yeah. pretty cool. Are you the strongest man out there? Well, strongest mouse, rat, uh, whatever you are. Sort of. <laughs> sort I, of. I, I didn't really use my arms or anything. I, I was. I, I mean, what? Wait, what with my toes? <laughs> your your toes? Yes. Not your tail? No, no, toes. no. Toes. No, no. Interesting. I haven't been working on my toes lately. I don't know anybody that knows how to like practice with weightlifting with toes. I don't know anybody that knows how to do that. Well, you're talking to the regional toe lifting champion. Regional toe lifting champion. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's pretty impressive. So. You're telling me I knew I was the strongest, the smartest, the best looking, but I was really surprised to discover that my toes are the <laughs> toughest in the region? <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's incredible. Yeah, it was kind of crazy how I found out about the competition too. Yeah, who does, who does, you know, who knows anything about that? Well, I thought it was just a regular lifting competition. I showed up and they were like, okay friend, off with the shoes! <laughs> God does use unlikely people. You're right. Maybe toes aren't totally warmed up, but it might be worth a shot. And you and tried. I tell you, I was filled with unexplainable joy, and I realized that I had the strength within me. I don't know what that means. You had the what? Strength within me. Oh, strength within you. Yes, we all have the strength within us if we just focus, right? It's, it's just too much. It's just. It was too awesome, though. Well, I'm so glad that you got a trophy and that you were able to join us today. I know you're super busy. Yeah, I, I really got in touch with my feelings, too. And, you know, I had to take a deep breath for a minute. You know, because I got to read this big idea again this week, right? Yes. What is the big idea? We love to talk about the big idea. What's the big idea for this week? Uh, you said it. You mentioned it. You have to remind me one more time. Um, Cause I'm like, my emotions are just going all over the place. Yeah, well, I mean, you said it. You just said it. God does something. I, I don't remember. <laughs> you just told me about it. What about joy? So we're so excited to tell you guys about the big idea. What is the big idea this week, Sparky? God does unexpected things. That's what he does. That's what he does. God does unexpected things every single day all around us. That's a good one, Sparky. Now what? <laughs> Let's check back in with Heather to see how she's doing. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today and this month. Be sure to stay connected with us. Check out the KP website for more additional discussion questions and activities that you can do as a family. Our YouTube channel, our Facebook, and our Instagram pages are full of content for you to check out all week. Before you go, though, let's practice our memory verse for this month. Remember, it comes from Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 and this is the NIV version for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts let's watch a quick video and practice our sign language Isaiah 55 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord Awesome job, guys. Thank you so much for practicing with that. Remember that memorizing scripture is another way that we can stay connected with God. Another way we could do that is by prayer. So will you pray with me before we go? Dear God, thank you for the promise you made David, which was far better than what he had in mind. We are thankful that your promise includes all of us. Help us to remember that when you do unexpected things, you show you love us and have the very best in store for us. Amen. All right, guys, have a great week. I'll see you back next week for our final series, final lesson in our series, Unusual. Bye.